Raccoon Alley during New Year's Vlog 2024. It's live for last week, episode 198. Let's go! Ooh, look at that. Raccoon. my fellow geowalkers to another episode of live from last week hope last week has served you well just a quick shameless plug before we go on I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel so first of all i wanted to welcome y'all to a new month happy october guys so on that note i have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends in bc who i know through one of my buddies Robert, this birthday shout out goes out to you, Tennis. Happy birthday, Tennis. And we've got another birthday greeting to one of my friends from our Wysik slash Ryerson days who I remember last seeing during her son, Mateo's birthday party. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Madeline. Happy birthday, Madeline. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So yeah, moving on, even on my days off of work, I'm still getting poor three hour sleeps, going to bed late and waking up early. And guys, I was thinking with this more comfortable set of pajamas, I would get a better quality sleep. Inspired by the nephew Kyrie's Halloween costume, from last year. Passing out with my newly acquired pajamas slash onesie on the couch here that I bought for only five bucks at a $5 Crazy Bins day last week. I then spent the rest of the day being productive editing some live from last week videos. With, of course, my Sonic the Hedgehog onesie on. Before recalling this scene in the past. And, bloop, surprise. Whoa. It will incentivize us to go disc golfing, man. Nice. Yeah. Yes, we got, we got planned it. Going to pick up my buddy, Cam Sue, from his condo. And doing for the first time this year since Cammy and I did this last year. Also taking the cousin Elron to Woodbine Beach with us to play a couple rounds of Frisbee Golf. Afterwards, visiting Elrond's place for the first time since his housewarming a couple months back. We chowed down on this delicious pizza from Liberty Pizzeria. While Chef Elrond was making his patented kale salad for us. And although my review of the pizza was pretty delicious. I'm thinking I ate a little bit too much of the jalapenos topping on the pizza, which had led me to experience a little bit of a tummy ache. But guys, that didn't prevent me from making my latest Facebook 
marketplace purchase. As I did in honor of the wife traveling to Florida with her co-workers to go to Universal Studios at this time. I bought these two Harry Potter 3D puzzle puzzles to surprise the wife. Then guys, to wrap up my busy day, at the local Eglinton Junior Public School, with a couple of friends, I made my way to sub in and play some indoor fours volleyball this evening. So starting off today, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made through my other childhood friend, Candace. This birthday shout out goes out to you, James. Happy birthday, James. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Now today, after a glorious and unheard of seven to eight hours of sleep last night, I woke up just to edit tons of videos for live from last week. Doing this pretty much all morning, since tomorrow will be another busy and eventful day, where I'll actually have no time to work on my vlog in between my night shifts. Speaking of which, before I go in for my first of my scheduled two night shifts starting tonight, seeing him for the first time since this Live From Last Week episode, I saw the nephew who we know as the one, the only, Vision, this time with his sunglasses on, and now wearing a mini Cooper baseball hat, and go with the Cousin Faye to a Wednesday $1 Crazy Bins date, spending quality time together for approximately two hours at this store, getting all that we could handle, and me spending about seven bucks on random items. I then had this great idea that I proposed to Faye about doing a spontaneous photo slash video shoot with the Mini Cooper and the nephew Vision, surprising the cousin Faye with this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> So we took the nephew Vision. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Look at his eyes. <laughs> and got him to have his first video slash photo shoot in his first car to drive. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> The Mini, Mini Cooper. I'm a lady. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Press one of the buttons. <laughs> Get out of the way. Come on, move it. Now guys, after that fun time we had, it's time for me to get ready for my night shift tonight. And I'll catch you guys again on a busy day tomorrow. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. Happy Mean Girls Day, everyone. And on that note, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my high school friends out there who in soccer had a pretty wicked left foot. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Alonzo. Happy birthday, Alonzo. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But moving on, post shift going to this Wendy's in Saga to get this breakfast deal. I got not just one breakfast sandwich on an English muffin, or two breakfast sandwiches on a biscuit. 
I got to taste the delicious potato wedges and order another sausage burrito to go. I then headed afterwards to the Saga House for a little bit to take a quick post night shift nap before getting infected by the crazy bins bug once again and going to the Saga location for a quick minute almost taking home and buying this 17 calendar for the wife but having restraint and ultimately coming out without buying a thing I next started making my way with the Mini Cooper 2.0 going back to the Pearson International Airport after recalling having dropped her off here earlier last week being the one and only Uber driver to pick up the wife after her Florida trip. Hello, welcome back home. Isn't cute? But guys, since the wife needed the car to go to Hamilton for a wedding coordinating rehearsal, I let her drive off with the Mini while I ventured off through Pearson International Airport trying to find the UP Express to take all the way downtown using the spacious commute to edit my live from last week videos arriving here at Union Station for a little bit before taking the GO train back to Scarborough to rest up before going in for my second night shift in a row later on tonight. So post shift this morning, realizing that I was behind on my live from last week video editing, I went to the hospital's library with my MacBook to finish editing live from last week episode 197 for its release earlier this morning staying back a bit at the hospital until after 9 a.m. Anyways, once I did get back to the condo, I got the wife's first reaction of me wearing my Sonic the Hedgehog onesie at home. Then after getting a Pasulubong gift from the wife's recent trip to Florida, this bag of goldfish with some cute shapes of Mickey Mouse. I gave the wife a gift from a crazy bins haul that I had from last week. Okay, open up your eyes if you want. <laughs> Spider Red and Little Kitty effect. Cool, thank you. This also had reminded me of another thing that I had bought installing this new feature for the car. Some red carbon fiber steering wheel grips as shown right here. Next, after attempting to get my post shift nap in around noon time, but eventually just getting up because I just couldn't sleep at all. I decided to go to my third different Crazy Bin store in as many days. Seeing some interesting and pretty funny calendars here. Especially for some of my dog owners slash dog lover friends out there. Eventually coming out with some patches of one of my favorite NFL football teams as well as another gem just like in last week's haul finding yet another what would jesus do bracelet then in the evening reuniting to go to a place that we were at i took the wife and tito giriar to markham's pacific mall to go check out one of our favorite stores here looking at some futuristic car cell phone holders wow expert and similar to what we did at this mall the last time we were here 
we ordered some freshly cooked fish balls on skewers. Also stopping by Honey Bear, my favorite place to go for $4 bubble tea. Enjoying as a group these bubble tea drinks all together. Anyways, before wrapping it up here in Saga at a local Planet Fitness, we'll throw back to earlier this afternoon for one of our belated birthday greetings. I just have a quick belated birthday shout out to one of my cousins out there of whom, if you guys didn't know, is actually a part-time sax underwear model. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Toto Ron. Happy belated birthday, Toto Ron. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So once again, after not sleeping post-shift yesterday, last night I woke up early, only getting less than six hours of sleep too. So recalling the purchases that I made of those Harry Potter 3D puzzles on Tuesday, Today, I attempted to try to put those puzzles together by myself. But unfortunately guys, this was all a lie. As this puzzle was already one that I found half completed at the Saga house. From the time the sister-in-law, the wife and I had tried to complete it at the cottage a couple years back. But I did preoccupy myself with a goal that I made for myself today. Noticing that inside the powder room of the Saga house, the toilet seat was broken at its hinges as seen here. So getting some tools to remove this seat from its aforementioned hinges, then taking the whole thing off, we next went to the local Home Depot on a little home renovation date with the mother-in-law searching in the toilet aisle for our next new toilet seat. Then bringing home this package with our new seat which it says right on the box it has this whisper close feature I thought this was silent. <laughs> maybe you have to put it there. Yeah, maybe I have to put it on. Yeah, you said okay. it's gravity. <laughs> oh, we have to return it. It's so loud. It's not, it's not whisper close. In just five minutes with its easy to follow steps and procedures, I was able to maneuver the seat to make it look like how it was from before to its post-installation after video. I mean, not bad for less than 10 minutes of work, guys. And next, when the father-in-law came back home, I just had to surprise him with the proud work that I just recently completed. That's very really good. Yeah, okay, now try to close it as hard as you can. <laughs> oh, you got a lesson like a, what they call a soft closing? Yeah. So I didn't need any more bang? <laughs> no more bang. <laughs> What's a very good bang. And also earlier, we went to a local shawarma place, getting some original shawarma for takeout to reward ourselves for a job well done. And while we're on the topic of speaking about more food. For dinner, we went to a place, as you guys remember, was where one of my first times encountering these robot servers in the past. Going back to the famous critically acclaimed Sushi 168. Reuniting myself with these friendly bots who seemed like they were just bumping into each other and getting into each other's ways but still having me enjoy this delicious meal with the in-laws. Then to wrap up the night, 
after dropping the wife off after a whole day of her just coordinating a wedding. I'm currently in downtown Toronto to check out this year's version of what we've seen in previous years past. Going to the 2024 version of Nui Block. So after that fun time at Nuit Blanche last night, with my favorite exhibit being that raccoon from Raccoon Alley, I amazingly got in my 10,000 daily steps, all before the early hour of 3.15 a.m. Then after going back to the condo at 5 in the morning to pass out for about 5 hours, I drove the wife to a baby shower in the Leslieville area with her making a handmade bouquet of flowers in the car and giving me a flower to place over my ear that had me Hawaiian dancing just like the performers we saw when we visited Hawaii before heading back to the Saga house as that's where I left and forgot my keys prior to going out to Nui Blanche. I then made a stop over at Liberty Village to do a quick Facebook Marketplace pickup, of which I'll reveal to you guys in the next episode. So be sure to tune in again next week. Anyways, after catching yet another beautiful sunset to the west of Toronto, to wrap up the night, I headed to the St. Maria Goretti Church for Sunday evening Catholic Mass. So firstly, I have a birthday shout out to one of my friends out there who just received the title of Senpai and who is also a big, major Green Bay Packers football fan. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kev. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And speaking of fellow Packer fans, recalling this item that I had bought earlier in the week, this morning I went to the local post office to package up these Green Bay Packers patches Along with this little love note to my fellow Packers fan, Yuli. Sending it to him in hopes that he will open it before next weekend. Anyways, back to this morning after passing out early last night. Getting first a three hour sleep. That had actually turned into an almost eight hour sleep. I celebrated this occasion just like in those times when the wife wasn't at home. Eating some leftover cake in the living room for breakfast. Then going back to several times over the past couple of weeks while looking at the Minis odometer. Today I also celebrated the achievements of the Mini Cooper 2.0 reaching the 100,000 kilometer milestone. And on the topic of the mini, I hopped into it to go visit a doggo locally named Romeo. 
who is actually my coworker, Glorious Pup, who is also being dog sat by my other coworker, who had her first mini carpool 2.0 earlier today. First time in a new mini carpool 2.0, go! <laughs> we also took the doggo on his little walk around the block. Okay, look now. <laughs> Before surprising the little pup with a mini ride in the mini mini. Okay, I think that's the extent of it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, after parting ways, I headed to Koreatown in Toronto to visit one of our favorite grocery stores as well as Kevin's Taiyaki shop here to get our traditional bungopong that we always get at this location to bring as a surprise to the wife back home. Close your eyes. Okay, put your hand out. Okay, open your eyes. Wow. What is it? Thank you. You're welcome. But now, after taking the mini mini back into storage for the day and preparing to go in for one single night shift later on tonight. We'll just wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.